This program is not associated with the Grand Ole Opry, WSM, Inc., or Opryland USA, Inc. Memory time, stars of yesterday, memory time, from the classic country hall of fame, classic country memory. This is Ernest Tubb talking to you from Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the world, saying welcome to the country show. And now here is Carl Smith. So long we've been married, last bird, and we carried the page, kept us stumble and made our love true. But plans that we made up somewhat seems to break up old doctrine. What else can we do? We may have to leave here to find peace of mind here, some place where we can live a life all our own. I know you love me and happy we could be if some folks would leave us alone.
find you a place to sit over there, honey, and right now you're going to be entertained along with everybody else, y'all, because here comes Ma Dickens' little boy, little Jimmy Dickens. Hey! Goodbye, Joe, me gotta go pull a hero. Me gotta go pull a hero down the bayou. My Ivan, the sweetest one, me oh my oh. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bayou. Jump a line, a crawfish, pine, a daily gumbo. But tonight I'm gonna see Mama chase me oh. It gets hard. exactly what this next fellow is going to do. He might sing. I haven't ever heard him sing, but I've heard him make some good speeches. And he's going to come out and talk with you now. Bob Corley. Thank you. You know, uh, I I'm getting to feel right at home here in the old barn at Nashville. Uh, I'm getting in the social swim, too. Uh, I went to a wedding reception the other night. Uh, you know what that is. Uh, that's kind of like when you come in from fishing and everybody runs down to the dock to see what you've caught. <laughs> well, I wish you could have seen the happy couple, the bride's mother and father. <laughs> There's the proud there looking at their daughter and her new husband, and the nice gifts that the bride and groom got. I, I give them a book that all newlyweds should have. It was a book to put their S&H green stamps in. <laughs> Well, there sure was lots of people there at the party. One lady come up to me and said, oh, you must come over to my house tomorrow night. I've got high fidelity now. And I said, ma'am, I didn't even know your husband had been running around. <laughs> you know, there's even some royalty at the party. Uh, there's this duchess there, and she had been married seven times. You might say she's kind of handy with her dukes. <laughs> One lady they told me was a baroness. I went up to her and I said, ma'am, I just heard that you was a baroness. Is that right? And she says, yes, it is. And I said, well, don't worry about it. Perhaps you can adopt a child. <laughs> now, 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 the points that they served, you can bet it had plenty of zip to it. Uh, it is made out of a treasured old Kentucky recipe. It is just the thing to serve when you wanted your friends to drop over. <laughs> you know, you know the, the, groom, the groom was uh, drinking pretty heavy there, and I went up there to his paw, and I says, better keep an eye on your boy. He drinks something awful. And his paw says, sure does. I've tasted it. <laughs> well, you know, I, I thought for a while there'd be a fight there. The mayor was there, and the chief of police, and... Uh, uh, the mayor called the sheriff over. He says, Sheriff says, did you tell the, the chief of police, sir, that uh, I was a no good, crooked, scheming, money-grabbing politician? And the sheriff said, no, mayor, I didn't tell him. I don't know how he found out. <laughs> <laughs> the bride's father was fretting over the expense of it all. And the preacher says to him, says, don't worry about it. It's the least you can do for your loved ones. He says, it ain't just my loved ones. It's all my fives and tens I have to spend. <laughs> to go to the airport, it seems like it's a, it's, it seems like the groom has one of these new airline credit cards where you fly now and pay later. We all thought it was real nice that a young couple could start married life debt propelled. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Bob Corley. 
You know, I forever hear musicians wishing they played a French harp or something so they wouldn't have to carry their instruments around, bass fiddled and lazy boys that hate to play bass fiddle and carry them around. I seen one big old boy coming into the barn a while ago, and he ain't never complained one bit. He carries that piano wherever he goes. So you fellas follow me over here. I want everybody to see Moon Mulligan. How about it, huh? Square Dancers, the North Carolina Cloggers.
I still love you I feel like crying What else can I Thank you very much. We've got a little lady that wants to come out and talk and sing to you all, so we'll just bring her out here right now. Miss June Carter. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. hey. Just, a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Wait till I find out exactly where I am. Hey, Kate, hey, here I am. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, there, mister. Or, yeah. No, I thought for a minute I saw somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. What's the matter with you, anyway? Where'd you go? I heard I'm about right it. here. Who is it? It's me. <laughs> Wait just a minute. Wait just a second. <laughs> That's right, I'm one of the three mothers. <laughs> no, no, no. They're on no, television, no. three mothers, right? Uh, yeah, uh, no, I, I just don't like, you know, you, you call Smith, I know who you are. Well, I figured maybe you did. I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, uh, uh, Carl, you, you know what? Uh, I, you're lucky to be looking at me today. You really are, no kidding. <laughs> I'm lucky. <laughs> news for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't go into that. Well, uh, I, forgot, <laughs> I forgot what I was supposed to say, so let's no. ad-lib a while. Uh, oh, that's okay with me. I said, you're lucky to be looking at me. You really are. I am. Uh -huh, no kidding. I about well, drowned last night. What a pity. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something. Well, I'm going to tell you something. How come you almost drowned? Are you quit gouging on me and stick to the script? <laughs> Just, uh, let me see where we're I would have if you'd have wrote it. <laughs> well, you know how it is. No, I tell you what, I really did almost drown. Well, right? what a pity. <laughs> well, you see, the way it was, there was a hole in the mattress, and I fell in the spring. Oh! <laughs> you, you got on that shirt. I'll give you ain't you that blue shirt I got for you. Yeah, me. yeah, I got that. You like it? It's got long sleeves. Yeah, it's got good long sleeves. Yeah, it's come right down to my hand. I, I really like it. I, I like it when I when I got it. See, it had long legs on it too, and I cut them off. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take these. You'll need them for a while. I think you broke it I off. I needed them a long perfect. time ago. <laughs> Let's do. Don't you think that's great? to have a big time is to have another song from our friend little Jimmy Dickens. What about Jim? I'm in here. 
sweet charms I can get. So while I finish this play, the bone of the heart is in three. Give a time we've all had a good time and we had a good time we had <laughs> little jimmy dickens you and miss goldie hill and june carter and the carolina clog dockers or whatever it is Cloggers. cloggers that's what it was i know who they are i just can't call their name and bob corley and uh and uh tune everybody gather around let's all square dance that's what i'm trying to say we've had a big time neighbor we'll see you again real soon until then carl smith saying take care of yourself neighbor may the good lord take a liking to you may you just take a liking to me let's all hey. and a host of us. Right now, here is Ernest Tubb. I can tell you from the south by the big smile on your mouth. Mississippi gal, I love you. And when I hear you call, come on in here. Girl, I love you. Now pick your cottage built for two. Way down south where dreams come true. Finished in that southern style. Drives me crazy all the while. And I'd walk a million miles for a great big southern smile. Mississippi girl, I love you. Tired of roaming around with a 
gal like you, I'd settle down and I'd walk a million miles for a great big southern smile. Grand old Opry show. Well, so neighbors, you'd have to go a long ways to beat harmony singing like these four fellows I'm going to introduce to you right now. They're, they're some of my very special friends. I know you're going to love them a whole lot. So how about a great big welcome for the old Hickory Singers. <laughs> Sneak up from the stable. Making up milk on the kitchen table. I know tomorrow a pair of loving arms will hold me and hold me as of yore. Somehow I just can't wait for the choo choo train. I'll ride it and I'll play them in my Dixie home again tomorrow. Say, did you ever stray from the one you love for quite a while? Then again, never thinking of each lonely mile. If you did, you'll understand why I'm bound for Dixieland. So before another day, I'll be on my merry way and say tomorrow. On the kitchen. I know tomorrow a pair of loving arms will hold me, it hold me as of yore. Somehow I just can't wait for the juju train. I'll fly in an aeroplane and be in my Dixie home again. They're the old Hickory Singers singing tomorrow. Neighbors, right now I want you to give a great big welcome to my special girlfriend from down at Grinder Switch, Tennessee. We call her our little gal reporter, and here she is, Cousin Minnie Pearl. <laughs> Well, if you've seen it, you've seen it somewhere before because I never wear it behind, young lady. Oh. <laughs> there it is. You put a funny. <laughs> I was just fooling you, Ernest. You know I know I you. I thought you knew me, Ernest. <laughs> oh, Lord and mercy, yes. But, you know, I would have spoke to you before. Yeah. But I'm so bashful. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I'm so shy, you know. I'm just in my early 20s, and all girls in their early 20s are shy. Yeah, I'll agree with you. You're shy, honey. You're shy about 15 years. I oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 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 I was just kidding you there, honey, but uh, uh, getting down to serious now, is it true what I've heard about you, that you like to be kissed by a man? Oh, Ernest, I, 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 what are you talking well, about? Well, me, I, I heard it, really. Oh, why, that's the silliest thing I've heard of. <laughs> of course, you know that the only men that I ever allowed to kiss me uh -huh. are Uncle Nabob uh -huh. and brother, brother and an old friend. Oh, is that so? Yes, that's right. Old friend. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh and it's that. Let me word there for a minute. <laughs> this foolishness now. Let's just, before I go, I want to say something to you. Okay. I, I always did uh, love to hear you sing, and I think you have an awfully good voice. Well, thank you just a whole lot, Minnie, and I just wish I could say the same about you, honey. Well, you could if you told as big a lie as I did. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Thank you. Thank you a lot there, Cousin Minnie Pearl. I'm telling you, you never know about that gal, but she's one of our favorite entertainers, and I know you enjoyed her just a whole lot, neighbors. Here's a little man, too, I know you're going to enjoy. Uh, he hails from the great state of West Virginia. He may be little, but boy, is he loud. So right now, how about a great big hand for my good little buddy, Jimmy Dickens. <laughs> Tall, if he used to fall down, he'd be halfway home before he could get up. Oh, I never seen no. <laughs> Thank you, Ernest. It's always an added pleasure to be on Mr. Tubbs' show. I'm awfully proud that he asked me to come over to visit with you folks for this time. I, I got a song down home in the hills of West Virginia, where I come from. There's a little legend among our mountain folk, and it's about a fella that drove steel on the railroads down there. And the man's name was John Henry, and the story goes like this here. John Henry was a steel driver. And he drove steel all over the land. Before he would let that team drill be down. He died with that hammer in his hand. Oh, John, he died with that hammer in his hand. John Henry was a little bitty boy. Sitting on Jimmy, by the way, Jim, grab you one of those pretty girls back there, and let's all join in with our old Grand Ole Opry Square Dancers for a little fun. How about it, gang? You ready over there? Yeah. up trying to have a lot of fun. We hope that you're having a lot of fun right along with us. But right now, I'd like to sing you one of my favorite love songs. If the boys are ready over there, entitled, You Don't Have to Be a Baby to Cry. <laughs> These ain't raindrops in my eyes Why should I lie? You don't have to be a baby to cry Oh, Billy Bird to be a 
broken heart that's full of tears. These ain't raindrops in my eyes. Why should I lie? You don't have to be a baby to cry. And right now we have an old boy back here that hails from my home state of Texas. But regardless of where he's from, he's loved all over the country. We call him the king of the country piano players. And here he is right now, Moon Mulliken. <laughs> Thank you just a lot, neighbors. Right now, here is Carl Smith. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're glad to be with you, and we got a song we'd like to try to do for you. We hope you enjoy it. Fellas, hit me a chord. When we're all alone, dear. Thank 
love you. Oh, uh, thank you just a whole lot. Neighbors, we hope you're having fun, and if you, if you aren't having fun, I know you're going to have some fun right now because we have a couple of boys coming out here that doesn't need an introduction of any kind. I know they're going to entertain you real well. Here they are, Lonzo and Oscar. <laughs> There may be a lot of difference, Oscar, but now I can't think of one. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, no. <laughs> what is the difference? Well, sir, a woman is a female. That's right. And the postage stamp is a male fee. Oh. <laughs> You know, everybody's now? been coming out here and telling jokes and saying things about Ernie Tubbs. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I don't like that either. I Ernie. don't either. It's so pretty good. I, I'm, I'm going to say something good about Ernie. Well, good. I'm proud of that, Oscar. What are you going to say? Uh, you know what Ernie said when he stuck a splinter in his hand? No. What did he say? Ah, oh, pick it out, Billy Bird. <laughs> home the mud when he does it, oh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Here's a little song we have out on record called Knock Need Susan. Oh, That's what it's right. It's it? about my girl, ain't it? Sure it is. <laughs> Are you ready, cousin? Pick it out. <laughs> Pick it out. I done pulled that now. So far I've been turned down You can see at a glance that I haven't had a chance So I'm gunning for snaggle to pass I'm gonna fix my son Play pressure Play pretty 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 Play pret
and you'll have better neighbors. Right now, gang, if you'll all join me, I think we'll have enough time to do our Grand Ole Opry theme song. It's all joining together. With the Grand Ole Opry, Grand Ole Opry, Grand Ole Turn to the right 
wonderful sight. It's a great big sign says, Eat at Joe's. Way down south where the cotton grows. Well, you been at the door with a high you all. My cute little miss with a southern drawl. She takes you by your arm, leads you to your seat. You sit down and begin to eat that hamburger, cheeseburger, lettuce, and some later. A ball ham, big ham, french fried potatoes. Hot dog with men, a cheese and barbecue. Later, some chili and some good beef stew. You got it. Come and get it. Something right here is going to take the place of food, though, and it's a real nice thing by my favorite family in the show business. All Miss, uh, all the Carters, that is, Mother Maybell and all the Carter sisters. Like right now, we got uh, my favorite of all the square dancing teams in the country because we have the world champions right here on the show to uh, entertain you folks, the North Carolina Cloggers. Oh, hey! hard them to do sometimes because it's got a real high spot in it and uh, well it's so high at times that you can't even hear it unless you listen real close and sometimes if you listen close you don't even hear it the name of this is with every breath I take <laughs>
once in a while. Very good friend of mine. I'm proud of that. Miss June Carter. Oh. Yeah.
know if she'd stopped or not. Thought she was going to keep right on the going. We got a fella here right now. I don't believe you folks have had the chance to see on television, at least not very many times. He's a brand new artist on the Columbia label, has just been recording. Maybe, oh, well, I don't know just how long he has been recording, but I know you're going to enjoy him. So let's make him real welcome here, Mr. Gordon Terry. Hey! Someone like you So maybe I'll find Someone to kiss And make me forget about you And maybe someone Will give me a sign And I'll pretend I never lost you But then again when I think of the past, I might be reminded of you. ago I mentioned about uh, little Jimmy helping me get on Columbia Records and he really did because he happened to come out through Phoenix, Arizona uh, one time and that's when I was working out there and on a, on a radio station he came up to be on my program and it just happened that a fellow was in the house that uh, Jimmy knew real well that had a lot to say about you know certain things like putting people on records and things like that. Jimmy put in a good word for me and I appreciate it. Let's make him real welcome out here again. All right. <laughs>
mind Or you'll be sleeping by yourself someday Well, that's about all the time we have for this time, folks. We'll be back again someday. Before we go, I want to thank little Jimmy Dickens. I want to thank June Carter, Mother Maybell and the Carter sisters, Gordon Terry, and I want to thank the North Carolina Cloggers for being on the show. Speaking of the North Carolina Cloggers, I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's everybody gather around and have a great big square dance. All righty, well, here we go. <laughs> sing the types of song that you like now and in fact they well they do any type they do any of the types we was mentioning but this type they do here is what they're known for let's get them out and make them feel real good while the old hickory quartet sings don't walk this path no more <laughs> down a little way from my house further down the mountainside a girl named Betty who was always ready to pitch a little move by the fireside. I wore a little path from my house, walking to a cabin door. I went and told her mother that we loved one another, and I don't walk the path no more. I don't walk the path no more. I don't walk the path no more. Patrick was a mountaineer, he said, now some say, wait from here, and I don't walk, walk the path no more. In my 
little mud dog cabin Hanging on the mountainside I am so very lonely Cause my one and only Is sitting all alone by the fireside I think about the nights I wooed her All the while she asked for more One night while we were necking Her old man was checking So I don't walk the path no more I don't walk the path no more Granny's, I've walked to many ones since I was a kid. <laughs> Fact is, they've got all different kinds of paths where I was born and raised. And, uh, well, here's the fella I'm fixing to bring on now that walks any kind of path, any direction. And he always brings goodwill any time he comes on the show or walking past. Let's make him feel real welcome now, the ambassador of goodwill, Dr. Lou Children. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Thank you very much. Hello, my friends everywhere. How are you? Wherever you are. Yes, sir. -y. Old Dr. Lou Childry, he's right here today, and I would like at this time to sprinkle upon thee some of Dr. Lou's Grand Ole Opry Goodwill Powder. My ensemble for the day <laughs> will be under the direction of Professor Red Taylor. Professor, will you exercise the old man, please, sir? Thank you. Yeah, I'm ready. That's one way to walk a path. Isn't it? Here's some fellas now that we, we think walk paths pretty good. In fact, they don't do much walking. They ride a lot, different boats and horses and everything. They're all over more than they are anywhere else most of the time. They've been back to Grand Ole Opry for a long time. Everybody loves them wherever they go. Come from around Goober Creek, uh, Alabama, I believe is where they're from. They're so funny they, that they, sometimes you wonder if you're laughing at them or whether they've got you hypnotized. <laughs> Let's make them feel real good. Lines on Oscar! Where's the I don't know where they are. Hey, Tommy, where are they? Where's the oh, I saw them out there behind the barn. Oh, well, here they come. Oh, <laughs> Guys will get down now and let's do a little bit of work here. Yeah, Lobzo, he's going, me and Jody's going to ride him, but he wouldn't let ride, both of us ride him, so Cousin had to lead him in for us. Yeah, that hammerhead, <laughs> he wouldn't I'm ride nobody. Glad, glad, glad you got him in here. I'll home. tell you, right here's That's a song you I ever seen. that we <laughs> always have an argument with every time we start to sing it. Cousin Jody and Oscar and Tommy always has an argument over this, and so tonight we'd like to sing it, let you folks. Kind of figured out. One called I'm My Own Grandpa. Now, yeah. that's the thing. It is hard to believe, ain't it? Not it so. sure is hard to believe. It, it'll work out. It sounds funny, I know. But it really is so. Oh, I'm my own grandpa. Now, many, many years ago when I was 23, I was married to a widder who was pretty as could be. This widder had a grown-up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her, and soon they two were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life. My daughter was my mother cause she was my father's wife. To complicate the matter, even though it brought me joy, I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. My little baby then became a brother-in-law to dad. And so became my uncle, though it made me very sad. For 
if he was my uncle, then that also made him brother of the widder's grown-up daughter, who of course was my stepmother. I'm my own grandpa. Hallelujah. I'm my own grandpa. It sounds funny, I know, but it really is so. Neighbors, we like to sing fast songs, funny songs. In fact, we like to do all types of songs and act all different ways at times. But there's a lot of times we like to feel serious and do serious numbers. At this time, I'd like to do a number that we have out on Capitol Records. It's a true story about a little boy that we met in Wichita, Kansas, while we were on a tour. We call it Little Tom. Little Tom. What will be your fate? Little Tom, will you be someone great? Do you know right from wrong? Are they teaching you at home? Or have they turned you loose? I walked into a cafe and ordered myself something to eat when a little boy walked in with his shoes half off his feet. He said, buy a paper, mister. I said, how old are you, son? Seven, sir. When my papers are sold, I'll be on my way home. What's your name? Thomas. But everybody calls me little Tom. They named me after my daddy, but they say I look like my mom. I said, well, it's almost midnight, son. You should be home asleep. He said, I know it, but I want to buy me a bicycle, and I got to help mommy buy something to eat. My daddy's pretty mean to us, and he spends most of his money for wine. And he don't hold a job like other men, because, well, he gets fired all the time. I said, have something to eat. Aren't you hungry, son? He said, I guess a little bit. I believe I'll have a hamburger and a glass of milk to go with it. I said, is that enough? He said, make it two, because I ain't eat since noon. I bit my lip and fought back tears as I watched the little guy leave the cafe. And I wondered how many more children would be brought up that way. Little Tom, what will Now, friends, here's the Welburn Brothers, Teddy and Doug. Darling, let me be the first to know. I know I shouldn't think that it could happen to you and I because I love you so. But if you should ever find that you 
don't love me Darling, let me be the first to know If you should ever change your mind about me Be the one to come and tell me so Please don't let me hear it from another hard for me to let you go but if you should ever find you love another darling let me be the first much Welburn Brothers. Neighbors, no show is complete without any comedy, as most of you know, and especially a country type show. And grand old opera shows are never complete without a lot of funniness. And uh, we don't know of any two funnier people than Minnie Pearl and Rod Brassfield. Let's make them feel real good now. Let's bring out Minnie Pearl. Cousin yeah. Minnie Pearl. I just wanted to tell you that uh, I'm all dressed up in case anybody wanted to take me to a party. I was just thinking if I could just sort of, you know, sort of casual type, you know, just sort of yeah. run into yeah. somebody, you know, <laughs> that would be uh, anxious to go with me, some romantic type that would hey, like to go. Hey, look at that moon. Oh. You know the kind I dream about. Well, this is the kind I get. <laughs> Rodney, well, I... what in the world are you going to do with that bucket of water? I've got a date with a gal tonight, and they say she eats like a horse. Oh, <laughs> Rodney. You won't do, Rodney. I'll Rodney, do are you the romantic type? I just want to know. Now, you've done a big bunch of talking. Now, I want to know. Are you the big romantic type? I mean, feel them muscles there. <laughs> oh, yeah, like I'm a, a big he-man. Like a knot in... Not in a piece of wet spaghetti. Go ahead, now. Let's, let's hear about how rugged you are, Rodney. Well, I'm mean, too. Are you? Yeah, just drag women around by the hair of the head. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Who'd you ever drag around by the hair of the head? My gal, Susie. <laughs> I don't remember you ever dragging Susie around by the hair of the head. Yes, you do. Don't you remember you come see me in the hospital, don't you remember? <laughs> When you was doing very well and then took a turn for the nurse. Yeah, yeah I took a turn for the nurse. Hey, wasn't she a pretty thing? I'm telling you, that was one of the prettiest women that I ever seen in my life. Yeah. Well, I never will forget, I never will forget the first day she took my temperature. <laughs> what did she do? Well, Oh, I'm telling you, she first advanced my pulse. Yeah. Then she repulsed my advance. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rodney, you haven't got any brains in your head. I, 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 I'd love to stay here and gab with you. You're awful interesting. But I've got to go. I'm going to a picture show I want to tell you about. I love picture shows. Oh, it's exciting. Is it? It's romantic. Honey. And it's, oh, it's real thrilling. It's a mystery. Story. This is not a city. This is a dragnet. <laughs> Listen, this is an exciting story. You know yeah. what it's about? What's it about? It's a spy plot. The girl has a spot, has a spot knitted in her sweater. Yeah? 
Yes, sir. Let me go, will you? That's the kind of a plot I love to see unravel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. This evening, before we started our grand old opera show, I was talking to Farron Young out behind the stage, and he was talking about different songs he wanted to sing. I said, you got one in particular that I like, and I know the people do, by the way they bought your Capitol record of it. He said, what's that, Ferlin? I said, Chapel in the Moonlight. He says, I'll do it. Here he is, Farron Young, singing his Capitol recording, Chapel in the Moonlight. I'd love to hear the organ In the chapel in the moonlight As we're strolling down the aisle Where roses entwine How I'd love to hear you whisper In the chapel in the moonlight and the love light in your eyes forever will shine. Till the roses turn to ashes, till the organ turns to rust. If you'd never come, I'll still be there till the moonlight turns to dust. How I'd love to hear the choir In the chapel in the moonlight As they sing, oh, promise me Forever be mine I'll still be there till the moonlight turns to dust. How I'd love to hear the choir in the chapel in the moonlight as they sing, oh, promise me forever be mine. From the colorful world of country music, it's the Golden Years. 35 millimeter Eastman Color Motion Picture Library Tribute. Grand Ole Opry Stars of the 50s. This program is not associated with Grand Ole Opry at WSM Inc. or Opryland USA Inc. This is an Algannaway collection. This theatrical motion picture collection of the great Grand Ole Opry Stars of the 50s was filmed at the very peak of their careers, the 1950s. Great Country USA Productions proudly presents Memories of the Great Grand Ole Opry Stars of the 50s. Every time, stars of yesterday, memory time. Copyright 1998, Ganaway Productions, Inc., all rights reserved, under license from Ganaway Productions Limited. Produced and directed by the Al Ganaway Group in Nashville, Tennessee, in the 1950s. Memories.
Memories, Grand Ole Opry stars of the 50s. These stars were just out there singing, dancing, and having fun. Little did they know they were making country music history and creating the Nashville sound. Now, fresh out of the vault for the first time ever, this timeless video treasury of country's greatest stars. Filmed at the peak of their careers in 35 millimeter Eastman color, country's golden years, the 1950s. This program is not associated with the Grand Ole Opry, WSM Inc. or Opry Lane USA. Inc.